Most kids today spend their time on social media for fun. When it comes to 14-year-old Jackson Oswald, fun is a little different. I started searching for things on the internet about, you know, nuclear things just because that's what interests me. After deciding he didn't want to play video games all day, Jackson got to work on a nuclear fusion reactor. And it all began right here in this room in his Memphis home. This is the inside of the lab, and right here is the main piece, the nuclear fusion reactor. It took Jackson a year and a half of connecting dots before successfully achieving fusion, a process that smashes atoms together using high temperatures and force to produce a burst of energy. Being a parent of some money that was as driven as he was, was, was really impressive. Experts from Fusion.net, an online forum for amateur physicists looking to get hands-on experience with fusion, verify Jackson's results and say he's the real deal. You have to jump through the right hoops and we have to believe you and see what you've done. It just means that I've successfully combined two atoms of, in this case, deuterium gas while ejecting a neutron. The process is similar to how the sun powers itself, but scientists have yet to figure out how to build a fusion reactor that, like the sun, releases more energy than it takes in to power things like homes and buildings. We are still far away from uh, uh, making a working uh, nuclear fusion reactor to produce electricity. So you can think about how challenging it is to make a the 14 year old is now hoping to open that challenge up to other kids. I'm working on creating an organization to fund the projects of kids that don't aren't fortunate enough to have financial support. Who knows? It could lead to science's next great invention. In Memphis, Charles Watson, Fox News.